Hey guys, today is all about the Ricoh GR3 and its macro mode. I will share with you my experience using this feature and give you some tips and tricks on how to get the best macro photographs out of this little powerhouse. And if you are new here, my name is Peter Guardian and I like to take photographs with all kinds of cameras and lenses. And on this channel, I am sharing with you my experience with the gear I have used related tips and even an occasional travel story. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. And I don't think I'm wrong to say that macro photography is not what we imagine when someone tells you they just bought the GR3. It's just that this small brick comes with a fixed 20mm lens that everyone rates so high for street photography that you would not even think of using it for much else. But it would be a mistake to overlook the macro feature as it is well implemented and when used right, can give you excellent results. Obviously, the lens Ricoh built in the GR3 is not a true macro lens. For that, it's too wide. Even Ricoh themselves call it a close-up mode with macro in brackets. But naming aside, the resulting photographs can bring the small world that is everywhere around us to unexpected size and detail. So when I'm just walking around with just the GR3, I am not just looking for interesting composition, but also for a spider net, uh, racing snails or a bumblebee eating dinner. And it excites me that all I have to do is to push the flower button on the back of the camera. And the tiny bug I almost didn't notice before is now in a photo big enough to be used as a wallpaper. And this is the strength of the GR3. It packs so much in such a small package. So what have I found out to be useful to keep in mind when using the macro mode? Well, the first you need to keep in mind is that in the close-up mode the camera focuses to the range of 6 to 12 centimeters from the front edge of the lens. So do not shoot everything at maximum aperture because at f2.8 the depth of field can be too shallow and your bug will not fit in the area that is in focus, like here. It helps to stop down to f4.0 and if you dial in 5.6 you can forget everything else and just shoot. Also don't forget to set your minimal shutter speed higher as those bugs can move pretty fast. With this aperture and shutter speed settings you will need to crank up ISO a bit more than usual but do not be afraid the sensor in GR3 can take it and the resulting photographs will not suffer from too much noise. In the end is the capture detail that people will notice and not the digital grain aka nose in the picture. What can be a problem is to nail focus. If you own the GR3 you know that the camera sometimes hunts for focus in lower light and in macro mode it can be even worse. And there's nothing more frustrating than an autofocus camera that's hunting for focus and thus preventing you from capturing the decisive moment. The work around this is that you can change the position of the focus point, try to capture the subject from a different angle and always try to stabilize the camera with both hands as much as you can. The iris will take care of the rest. Macro photography is a delicate process with a small room for error, so take more photos than you think you will need because you can't see all details on the camera LCD. Last but not least, try to experiment with manual and snap focus as it can fit your use case, but what I found out is that it's easier to keep the camera in pinpoint autofocus, aperture priority and adjust ISO as needed. The rest I can always work out in post-processing. And what about you? What is your experience with shooting macro photography with the Ricoh GR3? Maybe you have other tips and tricks I should know about? I'm very interested to learn from your experience, so please share your thoughts. Some of the best tips and conversation is happening in the comment section, so definitely engage down there and be part of our growing community. Thank you so much for watching, definitely don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you appreciate it, like the video and let me know about future videos you might want to see. And remember, there are show notes in the description. Have a nice day and I will see you with the next one.